Esther Liedeberg was born into a poor family in the Bronx in New York. She was going to study French or literature, but to everyone's horror, she changed her mind and decided to study biochemistry instead. It wasn't always easy. She would sometimes eat frog legs after dissection so she had something to eat. Esther worked with her husband to develop a technique called replica plating. It's like a stamp for bacteria, so that in each Petri dish the bacteria are identical. Before this, the transfer was done with something similar to a toothpick, but this was long and slow. Replica plating uses a piece of velvet to pick up the bacteria and transfer them instead. Because of the structure of velvet, it acts like thousands of toothpicks all at once. Both Esther and her husband were credited in the paper describing this technique, however she is often forgotten. Esther was said to be great at experimental methods and she also came from a family who worked with textiles. Her influence in the discovery of this technique is undeniable. Esther's work was pioneering in the field of bacterial genetics. In 1950, she discovered the lambda phage whilst looking at the bacteria E. coli. The lambda phage is a virus that targets bacteria. It was the first to be discovered that can replicate without destroying the host organism. She also discovered fertility factor F. This means a phage will only destroy the host cell if it is under stress. Otherwise, the phage's genetic material is inactive. This discovery has led to the understanding of bacteria's horizontal gene transfer, gene regulation and gene recombination. The phage can also be used to treat bacterial infections, an alternative to antibiotics that is much faster to develop. In 1958, she was invited to the Nobel Prize ceremony, not as a scientist, but as a wife. Esther is one of a long line of women overlooked for the Nobel Prize in favour of men. Once or twice might seem a mistake, but throughout history this has happened over and over again. Rosalind Franklin, Lise Meitner, Nettie Stevens. We've touched on just a few aspects of Esther Lederbo's life, but there is so much more to learn.